It's the Paul and Tom Show with Paul Schisler and Tom Brink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back to the Paul and Tom Show. Welcome back. Beep, 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 beep. I'm Paul. I'm Tom. <laughs> and we're so glad to, you know, talk to you. Be back in the car. <laughs> back once in, in the a car. car. Back in the car. It's been a minute. Um, some travels happened uh, this episode. We also need to check back on the DMV saga. First part was my DMV nightmare that was pretty much re- it's pretty much resolved now. And I feel like they should have mailed you a certificate. Oh my gosh! Yes, like a <laughs> hey, we're sorry. You're right. But even like. Oh, officer, here's my ID. Here's a little certificate from the state saying that this is real. (laughs) I just want the state of California to give me a certificate that says they messed up. Oh, Oh, nice. There's a skateboarder in the parking lot. No, and he's good. You can tell by that push. Yeah, but it's not like a... I don't know what kind of skateboard that is. Okay, you know, you you and I discussed this because we're like, oh no, don't go to the skate park before us because we want to be there alone. Yes, where no one can see us. Yeah, yeah, it's more fun alone. (laughs) Yeah, it's more fun alone. A hundred percent. Did he just stop? Uh, No, that's a different guy. Oh man, see, this is it. Happens again. Happens every time when you record in the car. You see people walking by, and you're like. Don't come up to us. Please do not. So, um, so DMV part two. DMV part two. <laughs> Wait, first of all, <laughs> pop the energy drink. I'm, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I I made, I, I, I took a risk and I bought this Amazon brand energy drinks because they're like crazy cheap. And um, it's just called Silver Drink. That's, that's the flavor. Silver, Silver. energy drink. <laughs> Low calorie, no sugar. I mean, good on them for having, like, minimal text. Yeah, I mean, hey. But also, cheap. who knows suspicious. what's in it? I know. that's See, a can <laughs> like this where zero design went into it makes me think, like, ah, there's gasoline in here. Not that bad. Not that bad. 11 bucks for a 12-pack. Not that bad. Pretty normal energy drink taste. It's better than Monster. Yeah. It actually tastes more like Zoa than anything. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because it does have that little powdery feel. It's like a it's like a he's hybrid. He's skating on the tennis courts. He's going to the park. Yeah, he's going to the skate park. Damn God. it, dude. <laughs> the early morning uh, is our thing. Yeah. What are you doing out here by yourself? Just don't skate over there, man. I hope he can't find it. You know what? Maybe he's going there now, hoping like, sweet, no one else is there because I suck too. That's the dream, but the way he could skate on the <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> like, let's just focus on the positives. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah, he did the, the kick where his foot comes up to his head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you have ba- you have actual balance. Right. You can do one foot on the skateboard on the sidewalk. Great. Okay, Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is pretty good. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm all about that price point. <laughs> I mean, this could taste like trash and I'd be like, eh, it's not that bad." But it's like the th- a third of the cost. It's so much cheaper. Yeah. 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 Um DMV talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> you know what's bad when you have to give a sigh and, <laughs> and rub a part of your face. So it's still in process. In the uh, it's still in ongoing. It's ongoing, what? and right now it's just a waiting period. Oh, the purgatory of like DMV purgatory. Yeah, is uh, no end in sight. Yeah, so. Essentially, I have no idea why California even let me have my car in this state. So I I moved here, and 
they let me register the car without having my title. Because they're so eager to just get money from you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so now, uh, and then since then, I refinanced my car. So then the title would switch to a new oh, finance man. company. Mm -hmm. And you're told through the process that they'll just send it and it'll be smooth and easy. Only recently did I discover that the title is still for the state that I don't live in. Oh, man. And the... So I just like kept going back and forth. Someone's like, yeah, you can have your finance company send you a copy. You send it to us. I was like, great. I got them to send it to me, and I called them again. I was like, so what do I do now? <clears throat> They're like, oh, no, they have to send it to us. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. So I hit them, the Capital One up. I was like, yo, you have to mail my title to the DMV. <laughs> and they're like, Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, of course. And they, oh, they overnight no. it. They sent me a tracking number and everything. And I was like, great. I call up like a week later. I was like, hey, so you guys have my title now, right? It says delivered, and Capital One's oh, mailing no. me saying, if you don't want it, send it back. Oh, no. But they're telling me this, not you. And they're like, oh, yeah, I mean, sometimes if we just get titles and we don't know why, they just, like, throw it out. No, 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 no. No. See, that, this is what always happens. Early on in the... Er, somewhere early on in the process, you have a few nuggets of, like, oh, it'll actually be fine. Yep. And then it, it goes, like, 180 drastically worse. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just... <sighs> Whenever you believe, oh, that that was easier than I expected. Huge red flag. Huge red flag. And so... And there's a paper trail of you communicating <clears throat> with both. Like, hey, title's coming. But, you know, where is... Where <laughs> are those papers? <laughs> Where's the trail? Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I keep calling them and going back and forth trying to figure out something to do. Oh, my gosh. And then they're like, okay, cool. So we're looking at your title, and it says for Pennsylvania, but they need to send it to us. And I was like, who? Because there's the original company, the new company, and the old state. Yeah. I talked to the old state, and they're like, why are you talking to us? That's a California issue with your finance company. Yo, dude. <laughs> and then California is like, actually, it's the original company's problem. And I go to them and they're like, nah, dude, we sent it. Everyone just deflects responsibility. <laughs> no one wants to do their job. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. And no then... one wants to like, no one wants to go like, oh, you know what? Let me look into this for five more minutes for you. Yeah. And then- and then the, you finally find the person that's like, I'll, I'll look into this for five more minutes for you. And then that person is like, oh, here's what it is. Yeah, and too many people are too confident with the wrong answers. Oh, boy, they love to shoot it out. Yeah. And then, um, so, California got really confused because oh, it's man. a Pennsylvania title and I refinanced. <laughs> They're like, sir, we don't even know where Pennsylvania <laughs> is. Is that a real state? <laughs> Click. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so they, they're like, wait, so your new finance company is on the title for Pennsylvania after, or even though you got them while living in California? I was like, yeah. They're like, okay, you have to call this number, leave a voicemail, and a guy will get back to you. Oh, no. And I was like, what? So I've been assigned a guy. And you're waiting for his call. No, we've talked on the phone a few times. <laughs> but whenever I want to talk to him, I have to call, leave a voicemail, and then hope he gets back to me within the oh, next man. couple of days. Oh, no. Whatever I'm doing, I need to drop it so that yeah. I can pick up. Yeah. Um, But he always calls from, like, a different number. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this... It's like a drug deal or something. Yeah. Rotating yeah. numbers. It's never the same because they don't want you to call back. Uh-huh. So they just get like burner phones for these yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's how you know this system's really bad when you have to get like burner numbers <laughs> for a part of the process. Like, sir, your problem's bad enough to require someone <laughs> to be assigned to you, but you're not allowed to talk to them. And this guy's in the witness protection program <laughs> because this is how bad it is. We'll hit you up when we're ready to deal with it. <laughs> In the meantime, it's illegal for you to drive. <laughs> no, it's perfectly legal. That's it's that's, and, ugh. but so the thing is, I'm approaching in like three months. I'll be done with my car payments. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll just have the car on for a little it's bit. It's okay. Uh, so, my car payments are done in three months. And they're like, you need to figure this out before you're done paying off your car. Oh, man. it's There's like the yeah. the countdown timer. Uh-huh. That's so stressful. Yeah. And then, um, so I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. And then I call the guy again. I was like, yo, so... What's the current status of this? Like, did you get it? <laughs> I see on the tracking that someone signed for it. He's like, yeah, that doesn't matter. We signed for everything. Well, and what then... the hell, man? <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't matter? Yes, it does matter. And then he's like, so actually, we're just like working on, and he gave me like a date range of the mail that they got, but oh. it was like four weeks prior. So it's oh, like, no. they are backlogged. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. Just like hit me up in like four weeks. You're like, no, dude. <laughs> I have three months. And I'm trying to be so good. I'm trying to follow the rules. I just want things to be the way you want them. And you're making How? it so hard for me. Like that's not an answer. It just hit me back in four weeks. Right. Because here's what's going to happen. You hit him back in four weeks and he's going to go, what? Oh yeah, that time has passed already. Um, here's another number you need to call, and then, um, and then, and that's how you make people snap. Yeah, like, oh no, actually, you need to send it again with five hundred dollars cash. Yeah, see, that date range has already passed because it's past the deadline. So you need to resend these forms mm -hmm. with this check to this location <laughs> you're like no 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 I want to go back to bed yeah. <laughs> uh, you you have to start recording phone no, no never mind never mind it, even if you recorded phone calls they're going to be like okay <laughs> yeah well, it's who are you, you going to show that to idiot yeah like the cops <laughs> uh excuse me officer the DMV is being annoying again 911 <laughs> What's your emergency? Uh, this guy, the DMV with the burner phone number is being real stinky. <laughs> he, like, wants me to call back? In four weeks. Oh, man. That is, uh, that's brutal. Yeah, so I'm just waiting. And uh, I don't know. Because, like, one day I would like to sell or trade in my car. Of course. I would like to be able to do that. Y you know, and as it stands now, the only way to do that is to, like, sell it off the books to some random person. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. And then, yeah, I, after a lot of these calls, I just, like, <laughs> I called Lauren while she was at work and because she, she wanted some updates, and I was like, <laughs> I, sadly, I need to blow up my car. <laughs> it's the only way I can get rid of this thing. <laughs> oh, no. My car's on fire. Legally speaking, the only thing that I can get rid of my car with is by destroying it. Yeah, just some gas and a match. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you ever tried to get rid of a car? You need info. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you want money for it. If you want money for it, yeah. Do you just, you know, drive out to Joshua Tree and leave it somewhere? Right. <laughs> leave or, it in the desert. Or I can go up to Sacramento and make a stink. All you DMV employees, listen to me. <laughs> Dude, It'll be my Joker moment. Go ghost ride your Honda Civic into the building. <laughs> <laughs> I want the end of the Joker, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, 
t- in New York <laughs> with all the things, but I want that in Sacramento in front of the DMV. Him taking out the DMV. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'd be a national hero. I would. <laughs> Maybe global. Finally, guy stands up to DMV. Finally. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so we'll see. You know. Oh, man, that's the worst. It's just... What's really difficult is being the only one who understands the situation when all the people who know the rules mm-hmm. don't can't comprehend the situation. Yeah. Because they're all like, it shouldn't be this way. And I'm like, I know, but you let it happen. <sighs> yeah. Like, you know, they're just employees. Yeah. So they didn't create the system. But they they give you the energy like, you idiot. Yeah. How do you, why are you making it difficult for yourself? Right. Because they each have one specific role. They're like, hey, you process these forms and you give <laughs> these three answers to people. And then someone calls and they're like, what form? And they're like, <laughs> because that one form is their entire job, their entire yeah. world. So you're like, what form? And they're like, you idiot. This form is everything. Well, and I'm sure there are. I'm sure most issues they face are the same exact answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so it's like, oh, there's this. You have to do this. Oh, I have this problem. You just got to do this. Yeah. And then it's, you know, they do that for 10 years and they're just tired of the bullshit. Yeah, but then when something comes around where it's just like, so this is tricky. They're like, I don't get it. Yep. Or you'll call three times and each one will have a different answer and you're not sure who's you're, right. That's what's frustrating. How um, is that possible? They just keep popping into different lines. They just want to get rid of you. I mean, just the DMV is truly one of those slices of life that <laughs> reminds you the world is broken. How do people get jobs at the DMV? Let's get a let's I mean go you, undercover. <laughs> Look, you sin enough, <laughs> Satan's gonna reward you with a job at the DMV. Although I had to get oh, they also suggested I get my <laughs> Sir, you should just work here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like we have incredible benefits, <laughs> like not having to deal with this yeah. shit. Um I the my guy was like Oh yeah, by the way, you should like update your uh address on your ID. And I was like, I thought when I moved, I submitted my address change. Like, you guys know where to mail my title, but you have my old address. Yo, that stuff kills me. That was the other thing. So or or my registration, they had my old address, but they were mailing it to my new address. Like, you guys have my information. Right, because I gave it to you. And then they're like, oh, no, actually, though, it doesn't go through unless you pay us $30 to get a new ID. What? (laughs) Every little nook and cranny to make a buck off you. Yeah. And so I went to the DMV in Santa Monica, got a new ID. That experience was pleasant. Really? It was lovely. But don't give in. <laughs> I brought every form of ID imaginable oh, yeah, in yeah, all yeah. the mail, and you they like, didn't need any of it. You like fly your dad out, <laughs> <laughs> just DNA for, test just for like DNA, like <laughs> authentication. Here's yeah. my twenty three and Me login. <laughs> Here's a pint of blood, just in case. <laughs> but yeah, they. Uh, it's just so interesting what they do or do not need. Yeah, it's uh, it's insane. It's a it's a sick game, really. It's a sick game. Um. Well, that was an awful saga. The, uh, uh, the best awful saga. The best awful saga. We wish it on none of you who are listening. And if you have a crazy bad DMV story, shoot us a message, tweet Please at us, let, let us know. Let we us know. We want to talk about it, and you know, help help uh, help you laugh through it. If you are in need of DMV help. Please call. <laughs> we could probably help you. Yeah. You be- we could probably help you. You become like mini experts when you have to go through bad cases. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That Our podcast is shifting to DMV helpline. Yeah. And no guaranteed results, but. <laughs> we'll probably, it'll probably just get worse, honestly. We'll try our darndest. Yeah. Um, Before we say goodbye. Yeah. Do you want to. 
Yeah. Open your gift on cam on on pod. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's light. Let, let me let me hold this for you. So it's it's uh Christmas time this week. And gave Tommy Boy here a little something. I I wrapped it so poorly. I was cracking yeah, wh- up. What is this? The, the entire time I was wrapping this, I was cracking up because it's so bad. <laughs> I was just taking like extra pieces of wrapping paper and just taping it to the box. Because like, there's a natural, w- there's a way to do it where I'm, everyone I'm, got comfortable with it, so was, we all know how to open a present. I was taking mismatched things and just like, there's so much tape on here. 30 pieces of tape minimum. Oh, man. Okay. Bad tape job. And now... Bad wrap job. I'm sure this sounds lovely. I'm leaving that for him to clean up later. (laughs) It's in Owen's car seat. He'll love it. He will, probably. (laughs) (laughs) What is up? All right, this is sick. A tech deck. A tech deck. <laughs> and a sick tea. A warble tea. Hell yeah. How long did it take for you to get that? Very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been dying to tell you that because it took you 100 it years to get your weeks. deck. It took three weeks to get your deck. I got that like same week. No. I also ordered that. Um, a week or two before you order yours. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I ordered it before, um, like Cyber Monday, Black Friday, whatever. Got it. So that probably helped. Yeah. So I think that helped, and it's a T-shirt. Yeah. That rocks. Thank you. A little, yeah, a little, sk- little skate package. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. The tech deck is like the sillier side of the gift, but. Well, now I actually have to watch those YouTube videos. I, I skip them all the time. I'm like, okay, guy. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the same thing. You're a grown up. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, cool, dude. You're 35 doing sick <laughs> tech deck tricks. Don't you have this deck? Owen has that deck. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Well, thank um, you. Yeah. And uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to all of you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace. Bye.